I've wanted to be a paleontologist like for the longest time. Really excited to go see the canyons. That should be really cool looking at uh, millions of years worth of fossils and stuff. This is really a dream come true. This is a first and this is a love of Dakotas and it's something that I was just very happy that we had the opportunity to do. I don't think I've met a person that at least at some point in their life or their youth were not interested in dinosaurs. When I was younger I had an interest in like dinosaur bones. I've been interested in dinosaurs on and off but for my whole life. When we signed up from the information it said like that we're going to do this dinosaur expedition with professional people. I can facilitate um, a learning experience for people who come on this trip who want to better understand what geologists and paleontologists do for a living and how they go about doing that. We're, um, we're heading out west of town um, to a place called Split Rock. It is a trail that snakes through uh, the Morrison Formation. The Morrison Formation is a very famous layer of geological um, sandstone and mudstone that contain dinosaur bones in the Rocky Mountain West. Remember that these no longer have water in them, right? Those channels filled up with sand. He also described the, the um, layers of the valley and the different periods. So that's now the sediment package. Those are the layers of rock that are in this area. And the way he described it was um, easy for anyone to understand. A river comes along, cuts a canyon through there, and that's what we see. That's what we're looking at when we look edge on at these layers out here. Well, I really like hands-on more than anything. That's how I learn the most. That's how I've always learned. It's like a hands-on experience. It's not just looking at it, reading a small description, it's actually doing it. The, the idea of the itinerary is to get participants a fairly in-depth understanding of you know, how do you get from a broken piece of bone found in the desert to Jurassic Park. There was a spot where there were uh, two boulders and they showed us how to uh, pick out the fossils. Go for the first day out to a place where there's bones in the rock where we can learn to distinguish rock from bone. I thought that we were barely going to see any bones, but they were everywhere. Um, and then we go to a quarry where we excavate bone. This is a rib bone. And I had to get it out of the side of the hill. There is some anticipation. It's like opening up a, a walnut shell and hoping you find a little gold pebble in there every time. And then we go to a lab where excavated bone is cured, is prepared, glued, finished, polished, made ready for curation. And then we go to a casting and molding studio to see what that process involves. Uh, it did work. Yeah, so it did come out. And during the whole week, we're talking about how you use the bones that you find to imply behavior, because that's what everybody's interested in when it comes to dinosaurs, is what did they do? I think what was described in the brochure was accurate, but it can't convey the richness and the color of the experience. And, and so hopefully that's what they come away with. The families that come on the Dinosaur Dig from the Center for Talented Youth bring the, the widest range of interests. For people to come from different parts of the states and mingle together as we did this week, is just phenomenal. This trip really opened my eyes up to what paleontology really is. There's earth science, there's physics, there's chemistry, there's astronomy, there's you know, planetary science. That, that, that kind of stuff is all you know, necessary. Of course, the biology is, is a big component of this. It's bounced back and forth between almost didactic type discussions about dinosaurs, paleontology. It's fun to bring in all of those interests. And the kids just doing what kids love. Hi! Hi! Swimming, rafting, um, hiking, digging in the sand. It, it really exceeded our expectations in the fact that we made friends. The thing that's common is, like, everyone here, uh, they think it's cool to be smart. And to have that kind of social experience that intermingles play 
and you know wilderness activities with learning is really a hard experience to come by. So I'm, I really wish it was two weeks because I'm going to miss everyone here. Just his world has gotten a little bit bigger and I think that's a fabulous thing.